and membership of CPTPP is no comparison to EU membership. The sum that it will generate is just a 50th of what the OBR estimate Brexit has already cost the UK economy. Indeed, leaving the single market, they estimate, means that our GDP itself will be 4% lesser over the next 15 years. And some have already estimated that GDP has reduced by 5% because of it. In 2022, the UK exported £340 billion worth of goods and services to the EU. By way of comparison, we exported £64 billion of goods and services to the CPTPP countries. So Amendment uh, new, clause, uh, new Clause 9 rather, is about an honesty with British business about where those markets lie and where they should put their time. It's also about understanding that when we talk about free trade, it's not just about tariffs, it is about regulations, it is about the non-tariff changes that we face. That this could lead to a lowering of food standards and problems with our food supply chain. It could affect our ability, for example, to sign a, an SPS deal with Europe that might help remove those silly Brexit border taxes <clears throat> that mean that in a couple of weeks' time our constituents are going to be asking us why there's food shortages and food inflation and loads of lorries queued up at Dover trying to get to Sevington. It could lead to challenges for our environment. And the member for Brighton is absolutely right when he raises concerns about palm oil and deforestation. And absolutely, the irony, the absolute irony of seeing those people who championed Brexit and now champion the CPTPP not seeming to understand what investor-state dispute settlement provisions are and the lack of democratic accountability, the lack of control that we might have. I don't know who's taking back control under those circumstances because it's behind closed doors.